Hey gamers, it's Winremute here from Grind This Game. Back with uh, this tube challenge with oxygen not included. And I've done quite a thing, few things off camera since the last episode. Um, I had built out a lot of this uh, power generation here last episode, but the wiring was really kind of driving me insane. It was a big mess. So I've gone in and I've replaced the wiring with heavy watt wire. So all the power generation is on this heavy watt wire. There's a lot of batteries here kind of a power bank and we can extend this kind of off to the right or it's cool over here uh, I put in this little power room kind of a backup if we don't have enough power generation from the natural gas and this petroleum generator that I put in then they can go in here and run on the wheels and uh, kind of fill up the batteries so far they they're not using that much power so power produced 1.6 kilowatts and power consumed is actually really low less than a kilowatt at the moment there is one circuit that comes off uh, a transformer here and that's feeding everything in the base which is only a massage table algae deoxidizer and the micro musher and then more recently I put in this uh, oxygen generation room so it's using water from this uh, giant water tank over here which is gonna eventually be depleted and we'll be down to the steam geyser and things will get really hot. I'll have to figure out a way to deal with that later, but uh, for now uh, we're using it to produce oxygen because we were going to run out of algae at some point. I've got 16 tons of algae and there is more in here, but uh, and we're using algae in these little in the grow room and in this room still just to kind of keep it topped up. So if the pressure drops below 600 grams, then the deoxidizer kicks in. So I've used uh, automation here. Uh, this room's kind of just full of CO2 and I, it's okay because they're rarely going to this pitch -a pump Actually, I don't think they go here at all anymore because uh, we're using sinks. Uh, what's going on in here? Not enough pressure. I should probably actually allow a little bit more airflow here. And maybe uh, change this setting. So if it goes below 800, then it'll kick in. Now I could be using the oxygen that I'm producing over here to feed those rooms. Because we're, we're, we've got, we're producing way more oxygen than we need. Oh, and I'm using a gas shut off here. I've, I haven't really used these much, but they're pretty handy. They don't take much power and they can be set up in the automation grid. So I have this one set. If the pressure drops below 700, which it's about to do, um, it'll allow the gas to come in. Pretty nice. I do have one more transformer here and that's feeding the fertilizer makers and this one pump here. Plants have died. That's okay. We meant to do that. I moved this pump down because the oil level is slowly going down here. And I mined out all this diamond that was in here. And I used the diamond, or some of it, for these uh, thermo... oh, temp shift plate. I thought they were called thermo shift plate. But anyway, they're basically allowing this cool air to kind of the coolness to kind of diffuse its way in here because this area is really hot it's like 37 degrees 40 degrees I've got the petroleum generator on a oh it was on a oh this isn't air this is pressure threshold but it's actually temperature but I don't think I have it hooked up to the uh, petroleum at the moment I may hook it up later I also built a plastic or a polymer press it's also on a sensor, so if it drops below 20 degrees, it kicks in. And I put a little droplet of water here to keep this area cool. And it's over in the cold, kind of cold area, so it stays nice and chilly. And it, this cold here also keeps this petroleum cool, which is really nice. I built a few thimble reeds because eventually I want to make exosuits. Maybe during this episode. And I've been replacing a lot of the um, this tile in here with plastic. 
And the reason is, is that we need building materials for other things. And, okay, let's see. We only have 600 igneous rock, 2,500 granite, 5,000 sandstone. So yeah, we're running out of uh, materials, so I'm gonna keep swapping these out for plastic. Because it should never get over 70 degrees in here, so it won't melt. I replaced a lot of the ladders with plastic. I should probably replace this one too. How much plastic do we have actually? Oh, we're out. Just ran out. Okay, let's put that back. Actually, we can use airflow tile because we got lots of copper. But that's one of the challenges of this uh, this map. There's a finite amount of materials for building and stuff. Now, some people say I'm not taking the challenge correctly because I've I've left these nine little areas, and I don't, I don't think it's breaking the challenge but I might play the whole thing through again after I've kind of done with this map and try to stay within these nine cubes I have a feeling though that things would just get really really hot and eventually that would kill everything off we do have a new dupe so let's see what we got here Ada looks good digging athletics strength she's biohazardous but she has plus 10 immunity And do we have enough beds? We got ten dupes now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds. Oh, nine, ten. Yeah, we're good for beds and tables. Now, I did want to kind of start going down this way. Oh, there's another building down here. Uh, what can we build that with? Sandstone, I guess. Now, at some point, they're not going to be all like crawl down here because they have to hold their breath the whole way. What I really should do is make some exosuits so they can get around properly. Uh, we need an exosuit forge for that. Actually, let's take these out. Originally I had a couple transformers here, but don't need them anymore. So let's put that exosuit forge there. It's kind of a temporary building. Because you make the uh, you make the suits and then you can get rid of it. We do have some reed fiber, but not much. What do we have down here? Checkpoint. Now we can salvage all this for materials. Deconstructing it. Okay, let's make uh, copper. Let's just make is well. Let's make four. And we're going to need an exosuit dock. Where should I put that? Could maybe put it right here. Okay, let's try to put a station in here. Exosuit dock. Yeah, that'll work. Let's put... Oh, let's put three in. And a checkpoint. Oh, we'll do the checkpoint after after everything is set up here. So we need to get this oxygen down here. Guess we'll use sandstone. Whoa. And we need power. I'm trying to get through this petroleum before uh, I continue pumping this oil, because it was getting really warm in here. Okay, now what do we need? Exosuits. Okay, we got those checkpoints in. They're filling up with oxygen. So I'm going to put a checkpoint in. That way they can come down this way.
without holding their breath. Let's get them building something down here. Uh, we're running low on materials here. Let's use obsidian. And then we can upgrade one of our dupes and then continue down. Maybe we can find the bottom. Yay, they can breathe. No, they dropped it. Oh. They dropped it. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's no good. Maybe I'll make a little platform here. Just in case they do that again. And then we'll go around the side. I think that'll work. Don't drop the materials into the abyss. I, I piped this incorrectly. The way it's working, it needs to split off like this. Otherwise it's just going to feed the first one and not the second two. I had to be really careful with this polymer press because it melts down at 75. And this thing gets super hot when it runs, even with a bit of water there. So I have it set so when it's 25 degrees here, it kicks in. So that means the plastic production is going to be really slow, but we don't have any gold at all. So that's kind of just the nature of the way this is going. Food has decayed. Oh, there's some oxygen here. That's the problem. Oh, in here too. Maybe I'll move the food storage into here. Oops. <laughs> too many. Let, let's let them deconstruct these first. Stick those there. New duplicate. I think we're good with 10 actually. Let's see what we got. Yeah, let's disable that. wonder if we can afford to put a fire pole here. How much copper do we have? 23,000? I think we can do it. And let's... Can we deconstruct all this? Get all those juicy materials. Now, are anything going to fall away? No, nope, that seems safe. Oh, yeah, we can deconstruct them. Perfect. Ah, uh, free metal. I like it. Okay, we've made our way down here. There's another station or something over here. I think I need a ladder here so they can deconstruct that. Not sure they'll be able to reach that, but should we go over here or keep going down? Hmm. I wonder how far down the uh, <laughs> the bottom of the zone is. Hmm. Could be a ways down there. Oh, they can't reach that. I'm an idiot. Okay. I think they have to go like that. Now having a tube that goes from the very bottom all the way to the top would be really useful but would take a ton of plastic. I could build another polymer press or two. And have them have them running kind of the same way here. Almost out of granite. <laughs> Actually, I could make those out of wolframite. Since we have wolframite. Save our granite for uh, ladders and stuff. There we go, we've doubled our output. Maybe. gonna be slow going. 
Okay, how are we doing down here? It still says unreachable. Continue uh, making our way down here. I don't know where the bottom is, but we're going to just keep going. And I'm building a fire pole just so they can get down here quicker. Still takes them a while to get up though. We're just really out of like almost all materials. Look at this. Only a few thousand of each. I should probably try to salvage some stuff. I've used up all the plastic. Uh, we're making more, but so far I've used it all up. This ladder is not doing anything. Get rid of that. I could get rid of portions of this ladder. Don't need it all. We rarely go up there. This we're not using. Mind that. We don't need anything in here, actually. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Slim pickings. Okay, how's it going? Where's the bottom? <laughs> I'll come back once they once they've struck bottom, if there is a bottom. There's gotta be a bottom. Oh actually we can't move past here. Oh, that might be the corner. Oh, I think it is. I think that's the bottom right around here. Oh, we got a shine bug. Does that mean we're close to the bottom? I feel like the bottom is I can't I can't mouse down anymore, so I think think it's right here. Now what's going to be down here? Any guesses? Oh, I can see it! I can see it! Some Weezworts! A lot of Weezworts! Look at them all! One, two, three, four so far. Oh, we can see a bit more now. We got uh, Slicksters, Weezworts, Lots of water on the ground. Uh, sleet wheat grain. Very cool. This is a lot of Weezworts. This is going to be very useful. Cooling, cooling down the base. So let's let's pick those up. No, no sense having them all down there. Oh, we're almost all the way down. There's an unplanted Weezwort there. What's the temperature like down here? 37. Let's actually trap some of these Slicksters too. Put a creature trap down here. This is cool. Do we have enough copper to keep building this fire pole? We're almost out of copper. I think it's okay though. We can always deconstruct it if we don't need it later. Okay, where should we put our Slickster farm? Maybe right in here actually. Let's disable this carbon skimmer. So that we can actually build up some CO2. The CO2 is probably going to be floating right around here, actually. Once they open these doors, uh, it'll be falling out. Could, could put a pump right here. Filter out CO2 and send it in. I think that'll work. Okay, so I put in a creature relocator here. This will be our little slickster farm. And I've got the CO2. Coming down here, I just need to put a bridge in. There's a pump here, and we're filtering out CO2. And we're going to send that into that little Slickster farm. And we have more Weezwarts now, so we can start cooling this area down. Let's put a flower pot here, here. <laughs> Weezworts! Oh wow, we have eight of them. Weezworts to the rescue. Oh, we're going to need those Weezworts once we get down to the steam geyser. 
So many slicksters. Oh, they keep dropping them. Well, that's no good. Hmm. Yeah, they keep dropping them. That's terrible, because that's destroying our plastic. Hmm. We can try to trap this one while he's there. Oh, we're out of plastic. Okay, we got a we got one slickster, slickster kind of halfway up here. So I'm going to put another trap down. And hopefully we can get him all the way up this time. Okay, he's trapped. Let's see what happens this time. Pick him up! <laughs> okay, he's still got him. Don't you drop him. Okay, I think he succeeded. Yay! <laughs> Got our first sixter in the farm. Okay, I planted those weasel warts kind of in all the hot spots. So this area should stay much cooler now. And I got the petroleum generator going again. Use up some of this petroleum. And generate some polluted water. Because we don't have much natural gas. And I'm sending all the CO2 I can find into our little slickster farm here. We've only got two so far. But two is better than zero. And I'm gonna try to bag some more. We we have kind of limited plastic though. And I and I realize the time to bag the slicksters is kind of in the morning. Because if they if they're carrying a slickster and it turns to nighttime, they just drop it and go to bed. Unless you go into red alert. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode. We got through quite a bit. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the state of things. Not sure what I'll do next. Uh, just keep, continue building the Slickster farm. Now that we got some Weez warts, cooling the steam geyser when we get down here might not be so bad. Let me know in a comment if you have any suggestions for the base. I know it's a bit of a mess, but it's functional. So as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.